Welcome to Civil Engineering for Learners by Dr. K. Aravinthan. Waste Management Classification of Solid Waste According to Types Ashes and Residues These are the substances remaining from the burning of wood, coal, charcoal and other combustible materials used for cooking and heating in the houses, institutes and small industrial establishments. When produced in large quantities, as in power generation plants and factories, these are classified as industrial wastes. Ashes consist of fine powdery residue, cinders and clinker often mixed with small pieces of metal and glass. Ashes and residues are almost entirely inorganic, they are valuable in landfills. Street Wastes these refers to solid waste that are collected from streets, walkways, parks and vacant plots which consist of paper, cardboard, plastic, leaves, and other vegetable matter. Littering in public places is indeed a widespread and acute problem in many countries. Solid waste management must address this menace appropriately. Garbage. This refers to animal and vegetable wastes resulting from the handling, sale, storage, preparation, cooking and serving of food. Garbage comprising these wastes contains rotting organic matter, which produces an obnoxious smell and attracts rats and other vermin. Special attention is required in storage, handling and disposal of this type of solid waste. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes Biodegradable wastes mainly refer to substances consisting of organic matter such as leftover food, vegetable and fruit peels, paper, textile, wood, etc., which is generated from various household and industrial activities. Because of the action of microorganisms, these wastes are degraded from complex to simpler compounds. Non-biodegradable wastes consist of inorganic and recyclable materials such as plastic, glass, cans, metals, etc. Reuse Prefer the use of glass bottles rather than metal as glass materials can be refilled and reused. Old clothes can be converted into doormat, cushion cover, handkerchief, mask etc. Recycle Old newspapers, books, magazines, and notebooks are recycled by sending them to paper mills where they reprocess to produce cardboard or recycled paper. Bucket, bottle, toys, bag, pan, and other materials made from plastic is sent to plastic processing factories, where they can be remolded to make new plastic items. Bulky Wastes These includes large household appliances such as refrigerators, washing machines, furniture, crates, vehicle parts, tires, wood, trees and branches. These household wastes cannot be accommodated in normal storage containers, they require a special collection mechanism. Combustible and non-combustible wastes. These consist of waste generated from households, institutions, commercial activities, excluding food wastes and other highly rotting materials. Combustible materials consist of paper, cardboard, textile, rubber, garden trimmings, etc. Non-combustible materials, glass, crockery, tin, aluminium cans, ferrous and non-ferrous materials and dirt. Abandoned vehicles. This includes automobiles, trucks and trailers that are abandoned on streets and other public places. Abandoned vehicles have significant scrap value for metal and their value to collectors is highly variable. Dead animals. This category does not include carcasses and animal parts from slaughterhouses, which are regarded as industrial wastes. Dead animals are divided into two groups, large and small. Among the large animals are horses, cows, goats, sheep, pigs etc. Small animals include dogs, cats, rats, etc. The reason for this differentiation is that large animals require special equipment for lifting and handling when they are removed. If not collected promptly, dead animals pose a threat to public health since they attract flies and other vermin as they decay. Farm Wastes These wastes result from diverse agricultural activities such as planting, harvesting, production of milk, rearing of animals for slaughter and the operation of feedlots. In many areas, the disposal of animal waste has become a critical problem, especially from feedlots, poultry farms and dairies. 
Sewage Wastes The solid byproducts of sewage treatment are classified as sewage wastes. They are mostly organic and derived from the treatment of organic sludge separated from raw and treated sewage. The inorganic fraction of raw sewage such as grit and eggshells is separated at the preliminary stage of treatment. This is done so that it may entrain putrescible organic matter with pathogens and must be buried without delay. The bulk of treated, dewatered sludge is useful as a soil conditioner but is invariably uneconomical. Solid sludge, therefore enters the stream of municipal wastes, unless special arrangements are made for its disposal. Hazardous Wastes These solid wastes are defined as wastes of industrial, institutional or consumer origin that are potentially dangerous either immediately or over a period of time to human beings and the environment. This is due to their physical, chemical and biological or radioactive characteristics like ignitability, corrosivity, reactivity and toxicity. Active agents may be liquid or gaseous hazardous wastes. These are classified as solid wastes and they are confined in solid containers. Typical examples of hazardous wastes are empty containers of solvents, paints, and pesticides. Certain hazardous wastes may cause explosions in incinerators and fires at landfill sites. Pathological wastes from hospitals and radioactive wastes also require special handling. Effective management practices should ensure that hazardous wastes are stored, collected, transported, and disposed of separately, preferably after suitable treatment to render them harmless. Thank you. Happy learning. See you again.